Is it a flamingo or a heron or an egret? It's none of the above, actually. It's roseate spoonbill. Once rare, these bizarre, interesting, and beautiful birds are again a common sight along the coast of Georgia. They are also spotted regularly right here at Fort McAllister State Park. Once abundant in the southeastern United States, roseate spoonbills were all but extirpated by the mid-1860s. Their vibrant pink, red, and white feathers made them a prime target for plume hunters, and entire colonies were wiped out for the women's fashion industry. In the early part of the 20th century, with the plume industry declining and bird conservation laws being put into effect, spoonbills began to slowly reappear in South Florida and extreme South Texas. Over the years, they have slowly regained much of their original range and even extended their range in some places. Although still not as common as they once were, spoonbill populations have rebounded and the birds can now be seen frequently in suitable habitat from South Carolina to the Florida Keys and west to southern Texas. Roseate spoonbills are easily recognized by their striking rose and pink colors, bald heads, and their wide spoon-shaped bill. They can grow to a height of 33 inches, and adults can have a wingspan of over 50 inches. Spoonbills prefer to feed in coastal marshes, tidal lagoons, mudflats, and other shallow water habitats. Although primarily associated with marine environments, they will venture into fresh water to feed. Small fish and crustaceans make up the majority of the spoonbill's diet. Shrimp and other crustaceans can be rich in color pigments called carotenoids, having ingested these pigments from the algae they eat. In turn, it is believed that the spoonbills owe their striking coloration to their diet. The more carotenoid-rich food they eat, the more colorful they become. Spoonbills, unlike other wading birds, almost always feed alone. They feed by walking forward and moving their heads side to side, snapping up small invertebrates, fish, and crustaceans. Depending on the location, breeding and nesting season runs from late winter to mid-spring. Nests are usually built near the water, 10 to 20 feet off the ground. The nest is generally constructed by the female, with the male supplying building materials. Both parents participate in the incubation and feeding of the young, which typically hatch after 20 to 25 days. Young spoonbills are usually capable of strong flight after six to eight weeks. As a premier stop along Georgia's Colonial Coast birding trail, Fort McAllister offers one of the better opportunities to spot the roseate spoonbill, along with numerous other wading birds. They are frequently spotted on the mud flats along the side of the campground causeway during the spring and summer. Low tides late in the evening or early in the morning are generally the best for spotting these unique birds.